Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be playing some more Death Ball, and this time I'm gonna give you tips and tricks to how to properly play the game, best champions, and what you should do and what not to do. So let's get right into the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell. And yar. Alrighty, so you just started the game and you want to get into it. My personal opinion, if you go in the game, don't buy any packs. Do not buy any packs. Unless see the spirit packs where you de defeat the boss, do that. By all means, they are basically free. But with gems, don't buy anything. Come here to the champions and see how much you have. Now, it depends on your playstyle, but if you save enough, enough gems and use codes, buy Kamaki. Kamaki is single-handedly the best gem character you can get in this entire game. You could go pay to win, pay 500 Robux for Gem Toki, where you get uh, free gems, I'm pretty sure, when you play. I'm not really sure, I don't play with him a lot. And then there's this card, Han Jiro. I'll make a video on how to get him, and um... I'll be showcasing some of the stuff. So, yes. Uh, and then there's Kilo. I don't have Kilo. Uh, and then there's Senshu. Senshu, you need like, I'm pretty sure, I think 10,000 gems to get him. Because it's enchanting swords and everything. So, and I'll go to swords just now. Just wait. I know the the main the normal sword is pretty pretty boring and i understand but listen you need to save up your gems for all of these you can use your main one to grind for a while because when you get when you load into your first ever game of death ball you get like 30 minutes of everything like every everything um yeah i get uh 30 minutes of every ability unlocked which is pretty good for helping to grind now to the swords so guys what you want to do for swords is that you would want to go to game modes now game modes is right here it's the little d-pad it's a little d-pad i'm just trying to find if there's okay it's a little d-pad here this is your little d-pad press on it oh god my things glitched okay press on it and then you'll have all of those you'll have all of these right so now you can see oh my why is that happening Okay, sorry guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. So what you want to do is, you would see standard, you're already in that. Now voice share, I don't have it enabled because I'm a console. Trading, this one right here. Trading is extremely good. Now, let me just show you what I mean. Now, what shall happen is, if you like, like to open packs and everything, this game is not very good. You have a 70% percent loss. And that is like crazy numbers compared to other games. You have 70% to get a common. A common. You know what a common looks like? It's not even that nice. Look. This is what a common is. Those are commons. Those are commons. But. But. I'm saying this now. Buy limited packs. Like Christmas packs and everything. Because as you can see I opened one. And I got this, this winter site, 730,000 gems, more or less, more or less, right? So we're going to be looking at some swords, and you'll see some of these are very cheap, see? The Shadow Legendary, people under, put people like put uh, low prices on everything that they have, most of the things, they put lower than the actual price, because most of the time they just want to get rid of it right most of the time they just want to get rid of it now you want to see let's say uh let's take this dark star okay it's seven thousand now you might be like oh that's a steal that's a legendary come over here to the rap index press graphs and then go all the way down uh oh they change everything okay <coughs> dark star it's six thousand now if it's lower and you can afford it do it right see it's six it's what six thousand right but 
he put it 1,000 higher. You can buy it if you want, helping the guy out, but it's your call. You realistically might, you are gonna lose out, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter since, you know, it is legendary and it's gonna be only four swords. So I'd rather say just come here and then get your stuff and then just do some research, do some research. Uh, I just found something right here. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Also, auras. Be careful for auras, cause some auras, like apply auras, shadow. <gasps> <It's a seal. clears throat> yeah. So some auras are like really, really nice. Like I'll show you now. I'll equip this one. I'll equip this one. This is my main one. This is my main one. I'm just buying it for like a dark sword. I have. Oh my god, no. Swords. Where is it? Here. Shadow Aura. Look at how cool that is, guys. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. And it was only 10,000. Now, the thing is, they put on really, really bad swords. Because you don't want to lose your swords. So, this is really, really cool. I might put on another sword. So, uh, coming to Auras this is how you equip auras and remove auras so let me just show you that right now so guys what you want to do is you want to come to the auras and then you want to apply auras if you have auras already apply auras now mm, no let me show you how to harvest auras first so guys what you'll want to do is you will want to come here now you can see that it says green surge and then everything and then it shows the aura there now before you say before you like um you think to yourself oh i have this really really cool legendary sword let me put on that is it a grade because the only way that you are allowed to put auras on is if it's a grade and if it's a mythical mythical that's a very important thing to say because you can see my mythic uh, my winter scythe it does not have the a grade it does not have the a grade so mythicals and only a grades can put on so what you want to do is you want to press on it and then you can see harvest shadow 10,000 years now obviously I can't do it because only have a thousand but you can see that um, it's very expensive to harvest so I rather to see that you don't buy stuff just for harvesting because it's quite um, like it's not that nice but I'll try and uh, do it this guy and then yeah okay I didn't even want to do it anyway yeah so you have my orders and then what you want to do to apply orders is you come here and then you'll see everything here I'll just take to take rose uh, flip it I'll say I'll put rose or something I won't put it but you'll know what I mean see i can i'll put on the default katana so you can see this is the default katana you'll start out right default katana come in apply rose how much is that how much is this again i forgot that's free okay it's a free it's a free so that's kind of nice i think you changed it because it was 500 i'm pretty sure yeah okay let's see what it looks like see you equip it and then you have all of your auras on you Oh, this is kind of clean kind of clean yeah so you'll have that and then next thing you, next thing you want to do is if you don't want to buy auras and you don't have that much gems but you have you're gonna go out on a vacation and you can leave your uh, pc your console anything on so what you want to do is auras afk lobby you enter it and then afk lobby go on the afk lobby and then when you go onto it it'll like teleport you somewhere and then you don't need to do anything just afk there you'll get auras and you'll get gems it's amazing guys trust me and you can buy fruits 
which we will get on to now so guys we are now on the fruits for section and now you want to go to the fruits i'm kind of laggy sorry i'm i know the quality is probably very bad but trust me trust me trust me i am an og in this game i know what i'm doing so you come here and then you'll buy stuff like double gems get double gems for 20 minutes double luck get double get double luck for 15 minutes double and then double xp it's crazy oh my god okay yeah then get double champion xp for 20 minutes plus 100 percent right so you see all of these you have to spend gems but trust me guys what you want to do this is how to make gems this is how to make gems right this is how to make gems like a little bit of side notes what you'll want to do is you would want to go to fruits when you go to fruits and if you'll have enough like a, enough money like 13,000 what you'll want to do is buy double XP and buy double uh, gems what that will do is when you have double gems and double XP you will level up more and when you level up more you get gems and what will happen to the gems they get doubled it's a great investment you'll make your money back 100% I did it and I got like a hundred thousand gems then I spent it all on some stuff but like, we don't talk about that we don't talk about that yeah guys so make sure to do that it is a hundred percent worth it it's a very good money making technique and it is so so underrated i only see people afking now don't get me wrong afking is good but it doesn't make you a lot of gems you only get like a couple gems like if you wait for like three hours you get like i wish you like only a couple thousand gems but if you need auras come here afk it's it's worth it rather than just buying and taking off i just realized that actually it's way more worth it so yeah you want to do that and then now we're coming on to the trading aspect because the trading on let's get into it so guys you want to trade with random people so what you want to do is you want to come here in this corner i will see everything wait am i doing it right wait how the hell did you oh wait sorry so sorry guys i'm just getting used to this game again so what you want to do is underneath buy gems above swords trade press that once and then you have the entire server list and you can trade with them now obviously there's going to be people disabled oh my god the furries there's going to be people disabled and uh you don't really need to do that with them but let me just pick a person this guy yeah so you'll send a request you send a request and now you just have to wait for them to accept it most of the time they don't accept it but when they do it is worth it or they just some annoying person so i think he's afk yeah he's afk he's afk so also guys a little bit of a quick kick tip the wrap above a person's head is how much swords they have like the worth of their swords like how much everything is worth it's a very what it's like very important to look out for that like extremely important to look out for that so like this guy i think he's afk but he has like a i think a similar one to me so let me let me just try and trade with somebody to show you how it looked like at you you'll probably saw where people were sending me trade requests because of my rap but um gizilla yeah so there's also like these rainbow ones i don't know what they are doing but let me just put in like a bunch of swords and then you'll see it will only show these three swords it will only show these three swords for him and now you can see he's busy thinking so there's nothing here there's nothing here <sighs> poor poor soul Poor, poor soul. That is sad, bro. Okay, but you saw what happened. He had all of his stuff there. And 
now is again another example so i'm just putting my best things there i don't re recommend doing that because they're just gonna spam items that you don't really want so i just cancel trades if they don't give me what i want and then um yeah that's pretty much trading done um yeah except so uh, what am i missing oh yeah 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 what you do the enchantments now this is incredible now trust me trust me trust me trust me trust me this is worth it trust is worth it so uh, let's get into the trading no the upgrade hub actually the upgrade hub Alrighty, this is the final part of the training hall. So, as you can see, this is pretty crazy. So, we have card enchant enchanting, and this is where I only say you do it if you have like leftover gems, which I don't even recommend you doing. I recommend that you just save your gems. But I'm bored, so I'm just gonna use show y'all an example of card enchanting this is basically like um loot boxes basically and um as you can see let's use electric electric 19.78 percent and 71 percent to get a base now electric 2 is way more rare 4.99 percent chance of getting it and that is even more rare 0.75 percent so if you have flame 1 that's quite common flame 2 that's rare flame 3 that is extremely rare and it and each time you get an enchantment that's like flame 2, flame 3, keep it. It makes the price so much more higher and so much more sought after. Now, this is the best enchantment. If you ever enchanting something, always try and get dual wield. Now, what's dual wield? It's basically where you have two of the same sorts in your hand. Now, it's good nose notice. They don't actually show up in your inventory. They don't show up in your inventory. It's just one sword. But this is so unbelievably rare. Zero point two percent of getting it. That is absolutely crazy. It's extremely rare and it's an extreme, extreme flex if you have it. That means your luck is just insane. I'm doing the goody while I'm enchanting. No, oh, as you can see, I got flame one, which is not bad, but it's very common. It's very common. It's very common. So we're gonna try and do this until we get the best one. I'll show you what's like the average outcome when you buy stuff. But yeah, see a lot of ones, a lot of ones, a lot of ones. I did get dual wield once, but that was like my first like thing, first enchantment. That was like just like beginning to like beginning to luck. Yeah, flame one again. Yeah, so it's not really worth it actually. Now that I think about it. You need to buy this thing from the fruits. You thought I was done with the fruits? Never. So you come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. And then you buy double luck for 5,000 gems. Now, honestly, I don't see a difference with double luck. My luck is still like rubbish without with it and or without it yeah so um this is dual wield guys this is dual wield we have the two of the same swords you have different stance and everything pretty cool this is also dual wield also dual wield let me try and get that from him let me try and get that from him. what is it called oh my god i'm lagging i'm so sorry guys i know i know it's not very pleasant to look at but um yeah, let me just find this guy. Two hours later. Yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Trade. Oh my god. Yeah, so that's also another thing you can't instant trade with somebody. So, yeah. Let me look at the. Like, the. The. Um. Dang, some of these are actually. Dang! Are these from prices? These are from prices. Yeah. Oh my god, I need champion. I need champion site. I can't have it, but I don't think I have it. 475 exists. That's more than Enigma. No way. That's more than Enigma. No way. No way. 
uh, 1.2 yeah so mine is actually quite high honestly so i'm just gonna look for some stuff that i might be able to i don't know how that's so expensive like it's more expensive than that and that is a damn um uh character thing so let me just send that to him and we'll see what's happening La 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 Whoa, that's a sick emo. Okay, wait. I'm gonna put Winter Scythe. That, that. If he gives me the rainbow one, I promise you I'm gonna give him the frost. What? I have more rap than you. Yes, because some people are gonna be irritating, honestly. That is honestly sick, bro. He has angel aura. Oh my days. Okay, yeah. So that's it with the trading hall, guys. Now, there's not a lot in the trading hall, actually, if you think about it. It's just trading the. Uh, yeah, so. I told you how to make gems. I told you how to level up your character. I told you about the characters. Now, guys, this is very, very important. When you're choosing a boss to fight, please. Please, 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 please get yourself right. There are these boss. There's this boss. It's uh, if I can find the pack. Um, the spirit pack. The spirit pack. This boss, extremely easy. Extremely, extremely, extremely easy. Me and my friends almost completed it, but it's kind of like. It's hard, but easy at this. You, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's challengingly easy. If that makes sense. If that makes sense. And then, mech packs. This is literally the opposite of Spirit Boss, guys. It, this one is absolutely difficult. Like, I'm talking like dying the first round. So, yeah, it's extremely, extremely hard. I personally, I don't do any bosses anymore because I don't like, I don't really play with my friends anymore. I don't know why, but I will start playing with my friends more and you will see more videos with crossovers with my friends. Um, yeah, guys, so that's pretty much it for the game. So, if you would like to ask questions in the description, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that decorating like bell right there for more content on Death Ball. If we can get like 10 likes on this video, I will answer every single comment so just leave a comment and i promise you i'll answer it i promise you i'll answer it if you can get 10 likes on this video i promise i'll answer every single thing and uh yeah i'll do everything that the comment says about this world and like south of florida and yeah guys make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell oh yeah just quick tip if you don't know how to you if you want to know how to get this glowing box it's because uh i'm using a sword that's grade a you you get this when you have a grade a sword so guys make sure to like subscribe and i'll see you on the next one peace